The work that we do is not about hitting these milestones, it's about making sure that a grandmother doesn't have to choose between eating and getting her diabetes medicine. It's about making sure that children don't go to school hungry. Uh, we rescue food that would otherwise go to waste and we deliver it to a network of about 400 food pantries and soup kitchens throughout the five boroughs of New York City. We source the food locally right here in New York City from wholesalers, retailers, um, grocery stores, all of the food is donated. We, we really put a lot of emphasis on rescuing as much fresh fruits and vegetables as we can. Right here in New York City, many years ago, we realized that the, the, some of the poorest neighborhoods that we were taking food to are the very same neighborhoods where we were starting to see high rates of diet-related disease. And so we really shifted our focus to make sure as much food as possible is fresh fruits and vegetables. And currently about 60% of what we deliver is fresh produce. It's taken us just six years to deliver another 500 million pounds of food, 200 million pounds of which were delivered just in the months since the beginning of the pandemic. And I think all of those numbers, as great as they are, really serve to underscore the very high need for emergency food that still exists in New York City. That need for, for food and for help getting food on the table was there before the pandemic. We estimate about two and a half million New Yorkers needed help getting food on the table before the pandemic. And then during the pandemic, we know that one in three New Yorkers turned to food pantries. So the need is great and really served to propel those very high numbers of pounds delivered. It's impossible not to be completely bowled over by the response we've seen from New Yorkers and from people farther afield, whether they're volunteering um, or donating. And really, financial support is the most tangible support we can receive. It helps us make sure we can continue our very elevated response. Uh, this year, we plan to rescue and deliver 111 million pounds of food. We can only do that with the financial support. You can go to cityharvest.org forward slash hunger action month and there people can learn how else to get involved, whether it's through volunteering, getting involved in food drives, um, participating in some of our events, um, including our concert feed in New York City, which takes place later this month. So we like to make it easy for people to get involved and help City Harvest do the very important work of feeding our neighbors here in New York City.